Hi, Sean. It's us, Marty and Millie, remember? Yeah, we were in Hawaii maybe a year ago. Well, anyway, we got our t-shirts on, Maui Wowie, and here today going to Maui. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> right. Was it hang loose? <laughs> remember that, right? <laughs> we took the uh, tour, remember? Well, we're going to show you what it looked like, and we want to tell you, don't forget at the end to hang out, because at the end we got a surprise for you, something special. And Millie might consent to going in a year or two to come see you again. She didn't yeah. want to make that long trip again this year. So we're just going to Florida somewhere nearby. Remember, we're from New York. So you'll have our number, our names, and everything when we send this to you. We're sending it with our good friends, John. So have fun, and we'll see you soon, I hope. OK? okay. Take care. Enjoy. I have to have turn the time. machine off, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry we missed you. good to eat. We're going to go looking for our friend Sean. Huh? And I want to show this to you also, baby. It's like a uh, crumpled paper. So looks like I don't know what. This. This thingy. This is our own private director, Sean. I want you to know. I'd like to welcome you to the Hyatt Gallery here in Maui. I love it. Sean Taylor. This is the beginning of our short tour. We have here in the foyer an Italian artist named Dario Campanili. His original oils and paper sculptures. This is by another artist, Alabaster. And these pieces of paper sculptures are hand-painted by the artist. He's originally from Florence, now living in Los Angeles. The artist is starting with Pedrono. He has a technique and a style that uh, pervades in such a way that the viewer is detached from the painting and what is occurring in the painting yet involved directly because of the abstraction and trying to figure out how it affects them and what it does. It has a lot of movement in it and spontaneous action. Pure colors splashed across the canvases to create a, a sense of motion. Then moving on, a painter to the star. This young man's name's Cervello. And he's collected by Elton John, Mick Jagger, Dean Martin, just a few. I know they're not in the same category. But. And this, this style of painting is called trompe l'oeil painting, which means trick the eye, literally translated in French. And these splashes of color here across the canvases are shadowed and highlighted so that it appears as if they're floating or suspended beyond the actual canvas, but they're on the same surface. Some sculpture, ballet, if you like. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Wildlife. You can hear the lion roar. This is Nancy Glazer's work. She's from the Northwest and paints on location in Africa. This is not unlike how I've looked many mornings here in Mount. <laughs> that the crow's eye doesn't like it? <laughs> After and having too many Mai Tais? That's right, too many you? Mai Tais and lion coffee. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is Adolf Sering. He's an artist from uh, Virginia. He's an American realist in the style of Andrew Wyatt. He'll be hosting a show here on September 10th for his work. And he's one of our blue chip artists. Find these these pieces are generally between about twenty and a hundred thousand for these oils. Uh, and this is a portrait of me on one of those mornings. Oh, uh -huh. Sean, <laughs> right there. Grubby. <laughs> it's really Sean Penn. Yeah. It took a while to get back into yeah, the swing of things. I'm sure you feel like that, right? 
Leonardo Nierman is a Mexican artist, a muralist from Mexico City. He's one of the most revered and renowned artists in the gallery. Hangs in most public collections across the United States and abroad as well. And let's see, continuing on. This is a, another piece of Adolf Sarings, and I, it's a cute little anecdote I was mentioning the other night. Lady was coming through. This is the bronze, and it's a display window here with three apples. And she titled this Darn, Three Apples and No Arms. <laughs> but a dilemma. The, the, the dilemma. The dilemma. The dilemma picture here. Here's some uh, David Leaves. This is an oriental artist that we host here in the gallery. His works are on silk with watercolors. He's from Taiwan, China. They add a type, uh, type of an east meets west flair to them. He uses the negative space of eastern painting with some of the western flowers that we have here in Hawaii and on the mainland. Very popular. And then finally, on this side of the gallery, we have a up-and-coming artist from the other side of our island, Norman Rockwell. Uh -huh. that sounds familiar. Is he related to uh, Norman Rockwell? Yeah, we expect him to do great things. That's his ah. lost uncle. You know, actually, Rockwell passed away in 1978, but mm. what he left behind was a collection of yeah. memories and portrayals of America from about 1970, or 1917 until about 1979. It was uh, this period of painting. And these are lithographs and also a, a couple of originals here. This piece, probably the most notable, the Army Cook, that was done for the cover of Post Magazine. Also, Rockwell was noted for painting the cover of Saturday Evening Post. Mm -hmm. And Aldo Luongo, this is an original called On the Beach. He's very popular on the West Coast as well as the East Coast. He's an artist from Argentina that has been reproduced many, many times over in serographs and lithographs. And this is a one that's an original. It was also created as a limited edition serograph. That's a serograph? This is an original, but there oh, is no, a serograph. Okay, okay. That I didn't think so. About right. half this size. Because the whales that we saw, those are the serographs mm -hmm. that we were going to buy. The whales. By that Nelson fella. Yes, Just that Nelson. Just this is very interesting, Sean. <laughs> this is a uh, artist that we just included in our collection. His name is Roberto Tortoli, and he works in both original and serographic uh, reproduction. The serographs are originals, but they are in additions. When you create a serograph, you cut silk screens out, much like a stencil, so they're built up. Uh, like a jigsaw puzzle would be one color on top of another until you have the final product. And this is 109 of 200, for instance. Below are original gouaches, which is a more of a tempura, egg tempura painting, like watercolor on paper. It's known as a gouache. Design-oriented predominantly. There's a little bit of Art Nouveau in it, a little bit of Art Deco, kind of a mix between the two. Air tape. Is that an original Airtape. or is that? This piece? Yeah. But this is a graphic That's as well. That's a serograph. Okay. And he ranges around 23 to 3,000. Mm -hmm. 2,300 to 3,000. Including the frame? Yeah. <laughs> Including the frame. Oh. Maybe we can talk. <laughs> We're batting 1,000 here, right? And this is uh, one of my favorite sections because of the color, spreads of color. Here you can tell if you're a video camera is a, a good reproducer of color. These are abstractions by Gregory Dean. And it's called style of painting. It's abstract painting, but also known as action painting and expressionist action and abstraction. So that's basically what she says These canvases are obviously very large. They are pieces that would do, go well in a new home or condo, lots of whites around them. They range between about three and 10,000 for these. Contrasting colors, you know, yeah. blend with just about anything. <laughs> what about the
about the sculpture? These are uh, sculptures by a Canadian artist, a woman named Esther Wertheimer, this piece. And she has a lot of uh, sculptures that represent the human form uh, kind of in motion. What is it made out of? It's bronze. This is a polished bronze. This is a clear acrylic. Well, that's that new stuff. It looks like crystal. Mm -hmm. These can be placed in any position you like, kind of like a type of Maui sundial. Star Trek's dilithium crystals has powered the uh, ship. Same lithium crystals. <laughs> Maybe I'm scatting. Maybe I'm now. Listen, this is uh, by an artist named Tom Braslow from the California area. It's also bronze, polished bronze. It reminds me very much of a kitchen set. <laughs> <laughs> a large one, cannibals. Something for your kitchen. Now if you come over here, these are more uh, Maui motif. You might want to take home with you. Chris Lassen's works. He's a young artist here in Maui, about 30 years old. He paints in the style of the old masters with wood panel and then a glazed layering technique of his oils so that it achieves a, a backlight, more or less. The sun seems to come from within the painting. He also has uh, an ability to change styles of paint, an uh, impressionistic style that in itself, he, in his impressionistic styles, he changes between Monet and, and Cezanne, Cezanne having larger brush strokes, Monet, of course, smaller. This would be a good, good example of a cezanne style of impressionism. And these are of Lahaina, the harbor in Lahaina. And this print, Our World, this is a, a piece that is of an under and over perspective, including a sunset, a seascape, and then the aquatic environment below, something like a, a flat aquarium. <laughs> what are you? I wonder how my goldfish is And that other guy, Robert Nelson, uh -huh. Uh -huh. He paints very much in very his much style. Like yeah. uh, or vice versa. <laughs> Copied it, I guess. Guy or vice versa. Versa. <laughs> and then we have some uh, name droppers here. Uh -huh. uh, Mark yeah. Chagall. Chagall. Okay. Yeah. One of the most famous and weird artists of the 20th century. He's Russian. We can just call him Mark for now, right? We can call him MC Mark. Sure. MC? Yeah. This is an original by Chagall. It's uh, one hundred ninety-two thousand dollars today for you. <laughs> with Special. If, frame. While you're with here, if you don't walk frame. away. With the frame. With the frame. With the frame. I deliver it. I come with it. Ooh, wow. We'll Set it up. You dinner. hang it. We'll and then your dinner just for that. Dinner. I cut it off. Don't worry. Uh, if you play your cards right, we'll let you stay overnight. There you go. <laughs> Here's another original by Chagall. This is uh, one of our budget originals, $150,000. With the frame? With the frame. With the frame, with the frame. okay. Oh. Just want to make sure, match. when I go back to New York, I have to tell them it's with the frame. With the, the others are graphics, and they're uh, certainly not a giving them away either. This is about a $60,000 original graphic. And then over on this side, we have Pablo Picasso. Oh, Mr. P. Another up-and-coming artist from uh, Paia, the other uh -huh. side of the yeah, island. Yeah, okay. right. These two pieces are a couple of his most famous graphics entitled Jacqueline, portraying his wife, Picasso's second wife. And what else do we have to show you? Here? Mr. Keene? Margaret Keene Margaret over Keen. here. Don't say, Don't say, Don't say Mr. I'm getting a suit. These are Margaret Keene's works. On top we have uh, lithographs and serographs. And then below we have original oil paintings. She lives in Honolulu now. She's been for about 14 years. She paints exclusively for our galleries. And she has a way of looking at life through very large eyes. And therefore she paints those in her works. Then, see, over here, Leroy Neiman. Oh, Leroy. Very popular artist back in uh, New York. Leroy, He was born in Chicago and now lives in New York and paints there. This is a piece called Harlem Street Scene. Mm -hmm. Hasn't changed much. <laughs> Very much the same type of style throughout his work. Mm -hmm. 
rarely deviates from this action painting, which is also a form of impressionism, basically. And some originals over here, and one of the serographs are more over his medium of uh, transfer from his originals of serography on all of his graphics, most of it. Well, I should say most of his graphics. More Margaret Keane. These are all originals. Price is a little bit? You sold one? These are, uh, oh. this piece, for instance. Oh, yeah, one's missing. This is in, it's in the room there. T oh. Turn the camera around, and you'll see the weekend guests. Oh, oh gee, look at that. <laughs> Your friends caught her like that. Look at that. You can either go. Weekend guests. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> weekend guests. What else? Closing out? We'll be over here with uh, James Scopatoni. He's in California. Oh, Millie, you look good against that. It's yours. It's yours. Give me a break. It's your song. It's your song and a dance. We do that. So don't don't ask us to do it. And that's my job. Yeah. Ah, I dance after you. the arch. This is James Scopatoni. He's from California, and he's also an impressionist, obviously. They're very good. Boy. Oh, we got popcorn at the Marriott. <laughs> 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 Leave it to us. Jimmy cracked it, but I. As far as Jimmy Crackhorn? <laughs> Show him, we're going to follow you. Okay. Okay, what's left? Well, I think that's about it. Hello. Hi, Hi. Rose. How was dinner? <laughs> just thought we looked. Yeah. Like if there's sure. anything to help you with, just. Uh, if he's not around, you can see us. We know everything that's here now. I'm giving him a little film tour of the gallery. Take back in New York. We're okay. just gonna we're gonna show this video here, and this way he doesn't have to walk around. Perfect. Sean doesn't well, have, have to walk VCR around. In here, I can show it to you. Absolutely. Well, I so hope you enjoy it. Hide it, and uh, we you, have you another gallery across the way. Uh, if you want to walk into the sunset, or I should say the the rainbow skies. Mm -hmm. that, now you've caught me off guard. This uh -huh. is an artist that they just took in, and I was done at our other gallery uh -huh. in the Highness. So. Okay, well, let, let's hear what the artist. Stoddard is the name. And what is that for? The title is Her Feeling Shoulders. It's an oil on panel, and it's $5,500. Oh, wow. Hey, it's bargain. With the frame? With the frame. <laughs> no, that is the price of the frame. The art was. Huh?